Proverbs 18, 24. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. In the early 80s, we were living in the state of Louisiana, and my dad was moving several times because he was being promoted. And I was in multiple schools. I was in Bowley Junior High in West Monroe, Louisiana. And anytime you transition to a new school, it's always good to have someone walk up beside you and uh, try to make you feel welcome. But you never know what's gonna turn out to be a lifelong friendship. This young man right here walks up to my English class and he has his pants stuck in his uh, cowboy boots. His hair's all frizzled. And he says, hey, I'm Jarrett Spurgeon. What's your name? And right there generated a lifelong friendship simply because he walked to the door, introduced himself and made himself a constant friend. I want to tell you, I was driving down the road the other day and I was thinking, there's really not much I wouldn't do for Jarrett. Jared's always been a blessing to me, always been a help to me. Jared's gone through a lot of tough times in his life. But man, God is God is good. God has saved him. And God has saved me. And we not only have a good friendship, but it's a brotherhood because of Jesus Christ. Our brother in Jesus. We need to be friendly. And you never know what one introduction could turn into a lifelong friendship. I hope this has been an encouragement to you just to be friendly today, even to someone you might not even know. And I hope you have a wonderful week and may the Lord bless you in a great way. And I look forward to us being able to go to church on Sunday morning as uh, we start our services back on May 10th. God bless you. Have a great day.